Okay, bear with me. I just want to make sure I've got everything. Six layer super light carbon crown, speed injection twist face, machine milled back of club face, through slot speed pocket, TPS front weight, high strength carbon sole, aerodynamic asymmetrical sole design, MOI enhancing back weight, and an all new forged aluminium back ring. But to you and me, it's a new TaylorMade driver. So as you could see from that top line, there's lots of technology in these new drivers. This is the new SIM2 lineup. There's three new drivers. There's a SIM2, a SIM2 Max, and a SIM2 D-Type. I mainly focus on the SIM2 and the SIM2 Max. So what I want to do, I want to take it to the driving range out on the golf course and also here in the home simulator on GC Quad. Let's get to the driving range first. I wanted to figure out what it feels like, certainly what it looks like, and my first thoughts on the drivers. Looks wise first, these new SIM2 drivers look so similar to SIM last year. We've got the carbon crown, we've got the blue colouring, we've got the white, blue and black head covers. Quite modern, not too offensive. Now behind the golf ball, the SIM2 and the SIM2 Max are so unbelievably similar. Like without looking at the bottom of the driver heads, I can't really tell the difference between the two. They're both 460cc head shapes. They look so similar in head designs. The biggest difference apparently this year is the SIM2 Max has a slightly different weight configuration to make it more forgiving. There's a bigger weight at the back where the SIM2 hasn't got the massive weight at the back and it's supposed to be a slightly lower spin model. And also something to notice in this year's model, the SIM2, there's no adjustable weights, there's no sliding bars. We've seen TaylorMade bringing out the sliding bars for many, many years. They've not got it this year. Is that the case because it's not being used? Is it the case that it's not that effective? Either way, there is no sliding options, adjustability in these new SIM2 drivers. Sound and feel. These drivers sound phenomenal. I've been a big fan of the sound of TaylorMade drivers since the very, very first M1 that they brought out with the Carbon Crown. And again, it goes with the same idea. These drivers sound phenomenal and they feel great. They feel springy off the face. I was only hitting range balls to start things off. And to be honest, it was a mega night. It was the, the super dark sky at Trafford Golf Center. I was ripping drivers into the, into the dark sky and it looks awesome. So that was my initial hits done with the SIM2 and the SIM2 Max. First impressions, I couldn't tell the difference whatsoever. Not only looks, but also performance and feel. Very little in it at all. So it was time to take them on the golf course. Probably ones when there was a bit more of a consequence. 